What's going on out of YouTube? This is Theo 0320 representing JVSM here for Review 4 Westworld. This is episode 4 of the second season, The Riddle of the Sphinx. This probably it's probably one of the best episodes I've seen of the series. Not just the see the season two, but honestly of the whole entire series. Because what they're able to do with these two different arcs between Bernard and old girl that should have been dead, which I was that was a revelation in and of itself. But then with William, the man in black, and the over arc of his past, like what was going on with his daughter, what was going on with his father-in-law, what he did with his father-in-law, what his father-in-law wanted. His father-in-law wanted to be immortal. He wanted to live forever. And it was like, I was like, something is off. Like, even when the first time he visited him, I was sitting there saying to myself, he's not real. Like, he's legit not real. So it goes beyond just saying, all right, you got one side of the part that wants to create artificial intelligence to immerse themselves into a realistic world. Then another side, which is the man in black side, he's like, I want to be able to create something that I can be able to live in forever in a vessel such as this. And I was like, this is insanity. Because the whole part with Bernard alone, with the girl, like I was like, okay, here we go. And then like I realized something is off even with him because the guy uh the hemsworth brother in the very end of the last episode of last season he was kidnapped by the indians but then when we see him in the beginning he is definitely with bernard and like everything is okay and i was like when did this joint take place it had to have been further into the future and it was like what happened to bernard all the way up to that point when we saw everybody in the water and so it was like I know for a plat that I was like, there are things that are just missing that you just really can't dissect very well because they do such a great job of paralleling um, future and present time where there's no real place for the present that you can kind of gravitate towards. And then, you know what I'm saying, like when he's like there at the facility and I was like, okay, you keep on showing me this flashback of William, he's getting a little bit older, older and then you get the reveal that the father-in-law is legit, like, being designed and being created, and they being processed over and over and over again, making him legitimately a test subject. But it's not just the fact of him being a test subject. What's so evil and so malicious and so dark about the reality of the father-in-law, and yeah, he might have been a bad guy, but he's kept this man alive for, I don't know, how many years, how many turns, just to have him sit there and die and brought her back over and over and over again to the point that he was like an old man I was like, oh, I've decided immortality is something that is finite. We shouldn't even try to do this. And they were like, okay, let's terminate this man. Let's put him out of his misery. He's having a panic attack. Like he, he was doing some great acting. He was doing some seriously great acting. And then when I was sitting, when he uh, realized like, shoot, my daughter is gone. Like, my freaking wife is gone. Like, everything is just unraveling. And it's just like him, him trying to process that was so eerie. Like, I don't think I felt that, like, jaded and, like, uh, alienated since probably, uh, I would say, what's the name of the movie uh, series? The Hunger Games. Hunger Games, the last movie, part one, where at the very end, spoiler alert, PETA, is legit lost his mind has been changed and met, um, brought to this point where he wants to kill the very person that he loves like it that I only watched that movie once or twice because it really messed me up emotionally and psychologically and this this did the same thing because I was like I'm sitting there trying to process all the stuff that was going on with Bernard and then on top of that like you got such symbolism behind like what this man really maliciously did to his father-in-law and like now, whether it's final law of it, I still have yet to prove that. But it's like you let this man stay in perpetual torture for years. And then when the opportunity you could take him out, you didn't. Like, I was like, dog, like, that's messed up. Because when Bernard, when it all, like, <laughs> interwove, when you finally see where Bernard is going, he's going into the very place that the final law has been for years. I was like, Oh, this show is master class writing and storyboarding. Like it is very good. Like 
Uh, Jonathan Nolan is doing a great job with this. Uh, Lisa Joy is doing a great job with the directing of this season. Like this season actually rivals to me season one of Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale is probably one of the best series I think I've ever seen, and it's only been one season. I haven't seen anything that's going on sexy. So, I mean, for them to do such a great episode in this one like that is amazing to me personally. But I give this episode a 10 out of 10. Uh, it left off on a note that I don't even want to spoil because I telegraphed it in my reaction. I was like, you know what? She might be. Nah. But then I didn't even talk about the man in black. Oh. <sighs> even though William did all these terrible things to his father-in-law, he decided to play along with this game and try to help keep this guy that isn't even real, his family and him safe. And I was just like, Man in Black is a savage. Like he is the embodiment of evil, but he's one of the most interestingly flawed characters I think I've ever seen. But anyway, I had to go. I got to do this Deadpool review. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Y'all have a blessed one. Make sure you check us out on Stardust. If you don't know what Stardust is, go down to the description bar below, click it, leave us your reaction, what you think about it, and make sure you do at JVS, it's just 30 seconds. It lets you be able to react to whatever TV show or movie that you want to. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, guys.